<clears throat> okay, let's graph this one. Before I start graphing this, let's name, I'm going to say C for center and then R for radius. Okay, so what would my center be here? All right, three, negative two, everybody okay there? So we're getting those. So it's not negative three, two, it's three, negative two. Now, so my radius, is that going to be the 16? Well, this is the radius squared, so the radius would just be 4, okay? Now, this is really easy to do. You go to the center first, and really the center is not a part of the circle, okay? The circle is the rounded part. This is just the middle right here, so there you go, 3, negative 2. Now, so what about a 4 here is my radius? Now. Well, what does a radius do? Where does the radius go? From where? The center to any point on the circle. The outside. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So, in, so if my radius is 4, what direction would that go in? That's like a trick question. Just to the right, and that's it? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's just it. Just this. The radius only goes to the right. The radius can go in every direction. Okay. Now, can we accurately go every direction in with in four units? No, but we can go right four. What else could we do four? Up four, and then what? Down four, and then left four. Y'all see what I'm talking about? See, I could do that accurately, could I? Could go four units, like left, right, up, and down. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, away from the center. One, two, three, four. So this is a set of all points equidistant from a point called the center. It's a definition of a circle. Hashtag geometry. Now, so this is not really a part of the circle, but it's these points out here, right? So you just take these and you just you take these points and you draw as best you can a nice circle. Usually everybody is envious of my circles because they're like perfect. Never. They're never perfect. Oh, this one's looking pretty good, though. Ah, ah it's a little little bit lemony right there. But. Okay. All right, just do the best you can, okay? What I'm going to look for, make a circle with those four points. Okay, see how easy that was? That's, well, there's more to it, but we'll get to it tomorrow. Okay, we're waiting on that part. We're just doing the easy part today. Now, All right, let's do this one. Okay, what if I have, let's say I have like x minus 4 quantity squared plus y squared equals 9. Okay, so let's identify our center and then our radius. Then we'll graph it from that. All right, let me show you. All right, so if I look at my equation here, all right, my center is going to be the, is going to be HK. I notice I didn't say negative H or negative K, did I? I just said H and K, so it's the opposites here. All right, so what about my X coordinate? What's it going to be there? Four. Not negative four, just four, okay? Now, I don't have this whole quantity squared thing on my Y. So what does that mean? It's just zero. Okay? Because wouldn't this be the same thing? Yeah. 
So we just say this one would just be zero. All right, see how I get the center now? Okay, you're just looking at these two values right here. And you're taking opposites of them. What makes them zero? Now, r squared, okay? So I've got nine right here, so the radius is what, nine? <coughs> Three, okay? Because this is, you know, this isn't the radius, is it, right here, is it? This is the radius squared. So that means the radius would be the square root of it, which would be 3. Okay, now let's graph it. So where are we going to go first? What, 3 in every direction? No. We're going to go to 4, 0 first. Now what? 3 in every direction. Okay, so here we go. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. Draw my nice pretty circle here. Alright, you wanna you wanna graph another one or yeah. we good? Okay. It's, circles are not very difficult and like I said, usually, you know, there's a chance you see a, a, a problem like this on the ACT and they're this they're that simple they would give you like five equations of a circle and they would ask you which one has this particular center and this radius okay they're not really that difficult now y'all had your paper here we're going to do some out of uh, blitzer again from lesson two eight okay there's a pdf in the blitzer folder uh yeah you'll need it for the second half of the lesson Okay, you can do it all on graph paper if you want to. All right, 31 through 51 odd. So you know what to do. All right, 31 through 40. All right, write the standard form of the equation of the circle with a given center and radius. Does it say to graph it? No. Okay, 31 through 39. Now, you don't have to show any work there. All you're doing is just writing an equation. Okay, and it's really easy. Okay, now, that's 31 through 39. Now, you have 31 through 51. Okay, now look at... Look at 41, and then I'll switch it over so y'all can see 43 and 45. All right. A lot more involved here. Give the center and the radius of the circle described by the equation and what says graph each equation. Okay. So you'll need to graph them. And then use the graph to identify the relations domain and range. Okay, so this is like, what, the third or fourth time we've looked at domain and range? Okay, all right, let's look at one of these and find it real quick, okay? So, what about, let's do this one that we did earlier. Okay, just real quick, domain and range. What's domain? What does it really mean? All the X's, yeah. So, remember the domain, we go from, what, the left to the right? All right, so we go into negative infinity over here. No. Where did the x values really start up at? Negative. Yeah, negative 1. Okay. So my domain, I'm going to put d colon okay, negative 1 to, where's that? 7. Okay. Circles are probably like the easiest thing to get domain and range of because they're always just closed intervals. All right. And then my range. What do we do there? We go from bottom to the top. Okay. So right here, what's negative six to two? Okay. All right. Y'all start with those. So you'll start graphing when you get to 41. So be sure you're on graph paper. 
All right, y'all let me know when you get ready for 43, and I'll I'll move the book. Or y'all can pull it up on your phones and look at it. 